People ask me, what do you what do you do a mile underground? Why bother? It's a lot of effort. If you know these guys are, are down here sometimes like 12 hours a day and just plugging away at a small problem that should be easy to fix, but it, it's not. But it's it's one of those things that you designed the experiment because you know what you're looking for, and then the universe tells you, no, you're wrong, you weren't looking for that, but I'll give you a little insight into what you're really looking for. And it kind of drives you on. The work that we're doing here really is a follow-on to work that was done by a guy named Dr. Ray Davis, who um, won a Nobel Prize in Physics in 2002. And he started work here back in the 1960s when Homesnake was still operating this as an active gold mine. And so that really was kind of the, the I'll say, the pathfinder for thoughts about this facility being able to, to be used as a deep underground physics laboratory. Uh, we actually study what goes on inside the star rather than looking at the outside. Basically we're trying to produce the reactions that take place in a star. We're trying to simulate those reactions underground with a lot less particles, a lot less um, equipment to work with. You're looking for a very small number of particles happening at a very slow rate and you are surrounded above ground by background radiation that gets in your way. And so what we do is we go underground because right now there's a mile of rock above us and so that's a mile of shielding from cosmic rays. So once you get down here, your cosmic ray background becomes very well suppressed. When the Science and Technology Authority started to consider the conversion of the mine into a lab, there were a number of uh, ex-Homestake employees that knew a lot about the infrastructure, how it operates, how to maintain it, and having the, those folks on board was tremendous. I mean, having that corporate history and how all the equipment operates and large kind of unique equipment um, within the mining industry really was invaluable for us to being able to take this facility that had been recently mothballed as a mine and start to operate it as a laboratory. I will never answer all the questions because there is always a point that you will never be able to know what's going on and whether you're not supposed to know could be, the, could be the reason, but it's, you're always going to come to more questions and you'll never know the full plan. But it really doesn't mean you should ever stop looking. Because I think you can understand your place in the universe, or you can understand um, you know, society's place in the universe much better by understanding how big the universe is.